Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mod. So we are back with the long shot, and we're only back with it because of a couple things. Um, I got a longer um, aluminum barrel for it from out of darts, and I just got in, I believe, the front muzzle piece and the um, uh, front muzzle uh, piece to easy swap the barrel, as well as a uh, replacement plunger tube for it, which I want to do because too much pressure underneath the K25 and that plastic will crack. Um, and then I also got a new scar from uh, Darts that I will be putting on this guy. So let's go ahead and open these up and uh, I'll show you what they look like and we'll open up the blaster and throw those in real quick and uh, see how it looks and how well it performs. So this is from Worker Mod. I have a similar scar to this, um, but this one has the bearings in it for a little bit better spin. So there's another one I still want from out of darts that's all metal, but he's uh, out of stock of the colors that I want at the moment. So I'm gonna have to wait, but I got the red one here. It's very nice, very shiny. It's not too big, you know, it's about as big as this 3D printed one I have on here. And you can always untwist, take it out, and there you go. And that's pretty cool. And it's easy, you can just throw it in and screw it back, right back on. So yeah, so we'll be using that on this guy when we uh, throw everything else in it. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be doing. This is from uh, Frontline Foam from Derek. Alright. And there we are. There's the uh, front adjustable muzzle piece, which is very nice. A metal plunger tube. This is a pretty big one. I just got the uh, the plain color, I believe, which I guess is this. It kind of looks like a brass, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's uh, it's a thick boy and very durable. So that's gonna be really nice. And this is what is this? Oh, I already. Uh, Replacement head for the uh, uh, Kieran uh, plunger tube. Because um, if I upgrade the spring to K26, I want to have something, uh, you know, for backup just in case. So that's for a different project that we'll be uh, working on probably in the next couple days. All right, so we got our front piece, our plunger tube, our scar, but we need the long barrel. Let me go grab that real quick. And here we go, here's the 18 inch barrel. Now this is, I think this is just a Caliburn barrel. Um, yeah, I don't think this is really shape, shape, I don't think it's really shape for it on either end, but uh, should be fine. I might do a little bit right now, just because. Okay, now the next big step is, sadly we have to take all the screws out again and that's only because we have to change up the plunger tube. If it was just a simple um, muzzle swap, we wouldn't need to, or a um, spring swap, we wouldn't need to. But because we gotta undo this, um, we gotta open up the whole blaster. So give me one second. All right guys, so we got it open again. Um, you do have to undo everything again, so just take the sides off, take the foregrip off, the main body and the stock, because the stock you have to get into those three uh, screws is just like before. So, let's see here. Replace the plunger tube. 
we'll take this off because we know we're going to get rid of that. And we can take the barrel out as well. Because we're going to be replacing that too. We're actually just going to take this off while I'm thinking about it. There we go. There's that scar. If I want to keep it, which I may. All right, now we're into the nitty gritty here. So let's see here. It looks like this just comes off, hopefully. Yeah, just like that. And the way to take it out is we have to undo that one screw. Same way that we installed the, uh, the K25 spring. Take this apart. Don't lose that screw. There's a plunger too. Keep this together as much as possible. <laughs> I'm going to keep this plunger tube just because if I need a replacement, here it is. Um, probably not for this blaster, but anything bigger, maybe long shot or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, same diameter, much thicker. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right back onto there, like so. that right onto there. Fits pretty good. Make sure this is facing down. This piece is going to go right back onto there. We'll screw that screw right back in. There we go, and uh, your assembly should be all good, and then you just put it back to where it was, which is, I believe, right there. Make sure it's all lined up. Yep, we're good. All right, so you're done with the plunger two part. Um, since we already have it open, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right in there just because. So that's going to go. Let's see, which way is this? Oh, like this. Is it like this? It's hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Yeah. Oh, this goes on top of this. Okay. There we go. Now it's lined up. If you want, you can take the uh, little posts that fall out when you undo the front screws. Just put them in there, just so it doesn't, uh, you know, move all over the place. You know, just so I know where they are. Um, and then other than that, I think we just reassemble it, right? Because we got that. We can throw the barrel in there just for kicks. Actually, I'll keep that till we get all together because I want to show you how the uh, um, twisting mechanism works. So, give me one second, I'll put this all back.
Now I wanted to show you guys something really quick before I put on the uh, handle. Um, so you know this handle works because it came with the blaster, of course. But guess what other handle works with this? The Tryon. Um, I don't know if I'll use this, but I will show you that it does fit. Um, it doesn't fit exactly. Um, there is a little bit of a gap, but it's it's nothing that's gonna um, be a problem with the um, priming itself. You just have to make sure you get on there straight, because uh, if you don't, it's gonna be a uh, angle, and then it's, then it's gonna have a problem. But you're gonna undo the four screws in it, like so. See, there's a little bit of a gap. And there's actually going to be a little bit of a gap between the blaster, the rail, and the grip, but nothing too major. But say you want to use it. There we go. And there you go. See, it's pretty much straight on there. But there is a slight, I mean, very slight gap um, when you're using it. Whoops, forget to put that part. <laughs> but, um, you know, it works. So that's a plus. All right, let me get the rest of it uh, together with the regular foregrip on there and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and test it. All right, guys, we have the blaster all back together. Um, I will show you how this. Uh, muzzle thing for the barrel swap works so it does twist to the left and the right to open up and tighten which is very nice lefty loosey righty tighty as you know so I went ahead and loosened it and throw this in all the way in the back there just like so tighten that around it yeah holds it very well and then, can this just go on there? Oh wait, no, boop. Oh, I need these, car, I believe. All right, this goes on to there, like so. Hmm. Oh, do I need to tighten that? Oh, I need to tighten this, hold on. <laughs> All right guys, so I had to tighten the, um, a seal on the barrel and the scar, so I just put a uh, just one layer of uh, electric tape around the tip, and now this is on there pretty uh, pretty tight. So let's see, let's see what kind of numbers we get now with the longer barrel and the aluminum plunder tube. I don't think there's going to be a difference, but might as well try it. And the the prime isn't that bad at all, actually. I can always. You know that's one finger so yeah let's go ahead and test it all right guys here we're at the door again with the uh, metal plunger tube in there and the 18 inch barrel um i think now with the metal barrel it can actually take a longer k25 slash k26 spring we'll see <laughs> and it probably another video um but for right now i got five of the um Worker Mod Gen 3's in here, and uh, we'll see what kind of ranges we get with these. One sixty one, one seventy eight. I barely made it. One twenty eight. Not sure what that was. Hmm. I don't think it's getting a proper seal with that barrel. Yeah. So, I think the shorter barrel is probably the way to go. And that's probably what I'll go with. I might get a, um, I might get a curry barrel for this one actually, so it's red and it matches everything. Um, 
probably one with the same, um, probably a 16 inch, not an 18. 18 I might use for something else. Um, the 18 is a little too long. 18 will stand out, or 16 will stand out probably right about there. So, you know, not much longer, but long enough. Um, but that's good to know. Actually, guys, I actually found a curry barrel that I have for another project, but if this one works with this, I'll just order another one. Uh, so I'm going to put this in a long shot real quick, and uh, let's see what kind of performance we'll get. We'll leave the scar off, because that may have been slowing it down as well, um, you know, just because it has the uh, bearings in it. Guys, I got the barrel in there, as you can see, you know. Um, note with these, these are uh, chaffered at one end. Uh, not this in the other one because you want the dart to feed. Um, I think that may have, may have been the problem with that other one. Um, so yeah, this may be a better fix. Um, but I put uh, five of the bamboo uh, worker mod ones in there. And uh, we'll see what kind of ranges we get with this. Now, I have a feeling that it still may be able to take more K25. Um, but for just this video, we'll just test this to make sure this works. Hopefully, hitting over 200, and then uh, we'll go from there. And then in another video, there we go, 229, 219, 236, 224, 224 again. So yeah, solid. Um, yeah, I may put. A bigger K26 in there and uh, I might show that in a short video uh, probably tomorrow sometime um, but yeah other than that uh, I'll leave a link down for the curry barrel um, this guy um, I think I did a video on it already when I opened it but I'll leave a link again for this guy the um, the muzzle barrel uh, quick uh, swap and the uh, metal plunger tube and uh, yeah Highly recommend all that combined, and then um, I'll do, do a little short video with a higher spring upgrade a little bit later. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, just share, subscribe, share, and all that fun stuff that YouTube makes you do to keep following me. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right? Bye.